Hey, what's going on guys and welcome. Uh, this evening I do have a tutorial for you guys and I'll be going over on how to make a NAND backup of your Wii here. Uh, now this is very critical guys that you do this, especially when you go to installing like custom Wii menu themes uh, and things of that nature because you do run a risk in breaking your Wii guys. Uh, I actually should have done this uh, tutorial a while back. Uh, when I actually done a tutorial going over on how to install custom Wii menu themes, um, but I didn't do it. So here it is now. I'm going to show you how to make that backup. Uh, not only that, guys, I'm going to also show you how to install this right here. This is Preloader, uh, and what Preloader is? Uh, uh, well, instead of booting uh, right into your system menu guys this will actually replace that first boot and will give you a, a couple of options to actually uh, boot straight into your system menu uh, boot into a homebrew channel uh, you can actually access the boot me ios uh, through this preloader and uh, also at the bottom it has a few more options uh, such as uh, the system menu hacks and you can uh, select that option and then under that option, you have a, a, a lot more options that you can en enable and disable, guys, uh, which is pretty cool. And I'll be getting into that here in a little while. So let's get going over to the computer, guys, and uh, I'll show you what you need on your SD card, and uh, we'll just get this thing going, okay? Cool. All right, guys, so the, uh, this is the simple part of the tutorial. Uh, we're simply going to go on over to a Mediafire site and grab up all the files that we need. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and download them and save them to the desktop here real quick. As that's downloading, uh, I'm going to go ahead and reformat my uh, SD card to a FAT32 just to be on the safe side here. It shouldn't take that long. Now guys, I am using a one gig SD card. Uh, you need at least, I recommend at least one gig. That way uh, uh, you can get uh, a save on there. Uh, your NAND backup on there, I mean. Uh, but you can use actually your original SD card that has all your files on it. You can go ahead and do that if you got enough room. Uh, I think you need at least like a 600 megabytes, I believe it is, or something like that for the backup. But for this tutorial, guys, I'm using a blank 1 gig SD card so you guys can actually see what's going on. I didn't really want a, a lot of things. When I pull up the homebrew channel, I didn't want a lot of files all over the place. I just really wanted what was on uh, the things that you downloaded. I, I just want that to show up on homebrew channel so you can so you don't get confused and all that good stuff okay so that's that all right so let's go ahead and we'll extract these files here we'll go ahead we'll just go ahead and cut them and uh, we'll paste them right onto our SD card here It is slow to be okay. There it goes. It sped up. Okay, so here we go, guys. Uh, in our apps folder, we have the preloader, also the preloader for Motion Plus only. Now, what you can do, you can take these two files, the boot.doll and the icon right here. And you can simply uh, put them in this folder here. Just replace this boot.doll and the PNG file here if you want. But I'm not going to do that. It's not really necessary. Um, this Wii mod, this is this is what it's going to allow you to um, actually install the wads, like a batch file wads. And I'll show you how that works. Um, it's really good for batch files, really. So I'll be getting into that. Uh, but here's all your wads. Guys, you do not have, this is totally optional. If you have these installed already, don't reinstall them. Uh, you don't have to do that, all right? Um, if you don't have them, of course, you'd want to install them. But uh, I believe if you reinstall them, if you already have them, uh, they may mess with your settings. I'm not sure. I'm not, I can't be totally positive about that. But you run a risk, it, as far as I'm con concerned, uh, 
it will mess with some of your settings on your Wii. I, I'm okay, but okay. I'm just gonna shut up about that. I don't, I'm not really sure, guys. Uh, I, I, if if you do already have them installed, I wouldn't risk it. All right, just if, if your Wii's running fine, just skip that step altogether. I would. All right, so let's go on over to our Wii, guys, and uh, we'll get to install it in the preloader, and uh, I'll show you how to make them back up real quick, okay? All right, guys, so let's get right into this. It shouldn't take very long from here, really. Uh, let's just go ahead and go into our uh, homebrew channel here. And my pointer is going crazy here, guys. I don't know why. My Wii Remote, my red one, just totally quit on me. I don't know what's, what happened to that. Now I'm using my white uh, Wii Remote here. And it's just going crazy, dude. I don't understand that. But we're going to go into our Wii Mod here real quick. Okay, so this is Wii Mod version 3.2. You can use your D-pad on your Wii Remote to scroll down. Uh, you want to go to WAD Manager and hit the A button. Okay, that'll bring up uh, all your files in that WAD fo folder. Uh, if you look at the bottom, it'll tell you what each button actually does. The A button is to proceed. In other words, you can install uh, one WAD at a time if you want. Uh, the plus button or the positive button... Um, will mark for batch install uh, the number one button will install all wads in the folder uh, the B button will go up a directory minus button mark for batch uninstall uh, number two is a uh, file operations so uh, yeah like if you want to say mark for batch install hit the positive button scroll down to the wad folder and hit the positive button. As you can see down the left hand side, they're uh, marked in green. They're checked off in green there. And you can simply hit the A button and install every one of them if you want. But guys, remember, this is totally optional. Uh, I, as for me, I've already got them installed, so I'm not gonna risk uh, reinstalling these things. I'm gonna hit the B button to go back out. And I'm gonna hit the home button to boot out of Wiimod. Okay. So we want to go to uh, preloader up here and go to load. And again, uh, down here at the bottom, it'll show you what uh, the buttons actually do. Um, now, if you press the plus and A button at the same time, uh, that will install or update the preloader. Uh, if you press uh, the minus and Y button, uh, this will remove preloader and restore system menu. Um, if you press home and start, that's if you chicken out and you want to quit the installer, <laughs> pretty much. But I'm going to go with the uh, plus and A button at the same time. And that should install it. Um, update done, exiting to loader, waiting five seconds. And it should boot right back into the homebrew channel like it just did. And what you want to do now is go to shutdown. And once we shut this thing down, guys, um, what you want to do in order to get the preloader, uh, hold in the reset button and hit the power button. But continue to hold the reset button until preloader shows up. All right, so that's what we're going to do real quick. I think I went into system menu here because no, it didn't. It shut off. Okay, so I'm going to go over there, hit, uh, hold the reset button, and hit power, guys. Okay, so as you can see, this is our preloader here. Uh, we're going to use the D button to move, uh, to scroll up and down to the different options. Uh, now, you can actually uh, go ahead and boot into the system menu if you want. Uh, you can actually uh, scroll down and you boot up into the homebrew channel. Uh, you can boot into the uh, Boot Me iOS. That's where you're going to make your backup. And uh, uh, all these other options I don't mess with except the system menu hacks. Now, if you go into that, press the A button, uh, you, you're, uh, you have the option to enable 
and disable uh, certain uh, options here. Now, the things that I enabled was a region free everything, block disk updates, a region free GameCube games, region free Wii games, and also uh, down here at the very bottom, I've got move disk channel and block online updates. So that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, definitely want to, uh, I mean, the disc channel could be very annoying because it's at a very uh, front of the list there. And, you know, you, you kind of, I never use a disc channel. So I, I want it at the very end uh, of my list. So uh, that I enabled that to, to be able to move it where I want to move it. Okay. And once you enable or disabled uh, what you want, uh, simply go down here to say settings and hit the A button to save the settings. Now the B button to go back out. Now uh, scroll up to boot me iOS and I'm going to show you guys uh, how to make a backup. You want to hit the A button. Okay, from this point on, guys, you can't use any controllers whatsoever. You have to use the buttons on the Wii itself. Now, to scroll through the different options, you, you would mash the power button, okay? Uh, to go into an option, to select an option, you would hit the uh, select button. Or, I mean, not the select button, the reset button, okay? So, what we're going to do, I'm going to go over there and uh, I'll show you where you would make a backup at, okay? I'm going to use the power button to scroll over to the uh, to the little gears here and I'm going to hit the uh, the reset button to select that option. Okay. So the first two options here guys, the green arrow is to actually make the backup. It will it will make a NAND backup onto your SD card. Uh, the second option here, the red arrow, if anything should happen to your Wii like a brick or whatever like this, um, you would actually use this to repair your Wii with, a, with that uh, NAND backup. Alright, so what we want to do, we want to scroll back over to the green arrow and we want to hit the reset button. Alright, and that will start the backup. And what it's going to do, it will go across so many times until this, that whole big old square there is green. Uh, now, as it's coming down, there will be uh, some black blocks, and that's that would be errors. Uh, but don't worry. Uh, once it gets down to the bottom, it will go back up and rescan or, or re go back over it and fix all them bad blocks. So just be patient. It does take a little while. And I'm going to skip this part, guys, because, uh, yeah, it's going to take uh, a good maybe 10, 15 minutes probably. I don't know. But... Uh, I'll be back when this is done, okay? Alright guys, so basically this is what it looks like after it gets done with the backup. Uh, now, uh, I did have a few bad blocks, so it did do uh, go over this twice, and then it went to verifying the backup. Um, now, uh, you can uh, press the start button to skip the very verifying process but guys that would be a very bad thing to do you want it to verify verify the backup simply because uh you need to make sure that it it is a good backup uh because if it's not uh you might as well not even have a backup at all because if something goes wrong with your wii and you have a bad backup well guess what <laughs> you're still going to be stuck with a bad wii um um system so uh, verify your backup guys let it do its thing okay uh, now after the uh, it verifies it says verify succeeded it says hit any button to exit uh, so since we couldn't use the remotes um, to actually uh, go into the options and all I guess you're gonna have to go over to the Wii and hit a button on it to uh, boot up out of this right here so let's let's give it a shot and see because I, I can't remember exactly how to do that so i'm just going to hit the power button real quick yeah and that's that's what you do and uh you can simply just uh use the power button to scroll over guys go over to the arrow and hit reset and then uh you can hit uh reset on Wii. 
And that should pretty much just reboot your system there. Yeah, see? So uh, let's hop on over to the computer, guys, and I'll show you the files that it had, that it had created on the SD card, and we'll go from there, okay? All right, guys, uh, this is the final part of the video. Uh, so let's check out our files that were created on our uh, SD card here. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. And as you can see, there they are. We've got the keys.bin and the nan.bin. Now, these two files, guys, uh, don't leave them on your SD card. Uh, take them off. I actually make a, uh, a folder called, uh, whoa, hold up. Let's go in. I, I, I like it in capital letters. Uh, we back up. Uh, actually, let's let's uh, rename it to we we nan backup. How about that? And let's let's cut these bad boys here out. And we'll paste them right in there. So they're about six hundred megabytes, guys. Uh, so just make sure. Put them in a safe spot, guys, really. This is your lifeline. This is your Weave's lifeline, okay? So if anything absolutely goes wrong, uh, you have no worries whatsoever, all right? So make sure you put them in a good spot, all right? Okay, so there we go, guys. Uh, this is my backup, and I will be putting them on a hard drive, or I may leave them on the computer on the C drive. I don't know yet, but they will be put up in a really good place. All right, so uh, yeah, guys, that pretty much uh, ends this tutorial, and uh, most of you probably already knew how to do this, but I just wanted to throw it out there, guys. Uh, just in case all right, so I'm going to end this tutorial right now guys y'all have a good evening and uh, I will see y'all guys later. Thanks. Thanks for watching guys